Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling and welcome to part 22 of our y Yamato Battleship 1200 scale build. Okay, so if you first come into this video channel now and seeing this for the first time, like I said, we're up to step, well, video part 22. So please subscribe, hit that notifications bell so you get notified when videos come out. And there's a you can go to the playlist and right watch this right from the beginning. So let's get on with it and let's have a look at well, we're up to an exciting part now where we actually get to put all the turrets on the ship. So let's have a look. We want to just pop up in the corner there and look at step 106. And there is the layout of what we need to do. So we've got our smaller turrets. Here they are here. Now the bases of these I painted up in the last video. So they are ready to put straight on. Um, now let me just uh, fix this background because you can't really see it with that mat too well. I'll be back in a second. Okay, let's try this one a little bit better. So there's one there. There's the other one. Okay, so they, they will be going on the ship. And then we have this monster, which is the one that goes on the stern with the scaffolding all on the barrels there. Um, and then the ones with the anti-aircraft gun on guns on top, uh, that one. And there's another one there. All right. Looking good. I'm really happy with the way they showed up, came out. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now the next thing was to get the ship down here on the bench. But unfortunately, it's just not enough room. And I can't get the camera at a very good angle to see it all properly. So what I'm thinking of doing is recording from my mobile phone and and getting some shots of it but the first thing i want to do is we'll go over to my mobile phone that i recorded earlier where we actually put the screws onto the shafts on the stern of the ship so let's whip over and have a look at that footage and then we'll come back back shortly hey welcome back so i guess you can pretty much guess what we're about to do that is put the, the, what are they? <laughs> the screws on. So this one will go like this. Easy. And then I've got this one here. It's going to go straight on there like that. And obviously I'll glue them. The other two which are pieces number 30. So both 29s go on this side and then the 30s will go on there and uh, they shall be done. So let me just do that and I'll be back in a second. Okay, there they are. Around so you can see. And they are on the back. Camera doesn't like focusing. I'm using my phone to try and capture this. There we go. All right. Very nice, eh? Have a quick peek up on top. There it is. Focus for me. There we go. That's better. Looking quite nice. Fantastic. All right, let's get back to the bench top and continue on. Okay, welcome back. So now I know I just said before that we were going to do this on my mobile phone, but then I thought it's going to be a bit difficult juggling my mobile phone while I'm trying to put these in place and video at the same time. So I've decided I'm going to bring it down, put it here on the bench anyway. I'll move the camera 
and mount it to my side and we'll, we'll get a good shot and we'll, we'll have a look at where all these placements go. All right, so let's start. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, welcome back everybody. So there it is. <laughs> I've just brought it down off the shelf. Uh, plastics just to keep the dust off and everything protected. We can take that off now. So it was not easy getting all of this in on the camera. If you could see what it's like behind me, I've got tripod here and everything all over the place. But anyway, so let's reveal our deck that we want to be working on. Take that off. And uh, just to make sure that we do fit, have managed to fit everything in. Take that off. And uh, these little weights are on here because sometimes I get a breeze put in my apartment here and I don't want these blowing off. Take that off. All right. And that's that. Okay. There we go. It's come up all right, not a bad view, but we we'll focus, give you an idea of the length of it. <laughs> this is a, what, six-seater dining table here. All right, now, for the turrets, let's have a look. So on here, on the stern, is where we put that one, which has the extra work I did on the, on the guns, scaffolding okay that's the piece there and it simply sits on there okay now I've already come across something I didn't think about <laughs> or never thought would be a problem the top of these turrets I didn't paint because I thought they'd be completely concealed, but obviously they're not, which means unfortunately I'm going to have to do some bit of touch up and paint work around the outside of those, but that's okay. So there they are. There's that one on. It's all right. Now we'll head on down towards the bow. And uh, we've got this piece to go on. And this one, I don't think it matters which, where do they go, which position. So go in there. Fingers crossed it will. I'm sure that's where it does fit. Maybe it does matter. Try it on here then. Yep. Okay, that's going on. And again, the little surrounds around the top. I know it's probably a bit far for the camera, but you'll see when I do it, get some other shots, that that's where that's going to go. Now, I just realized the barrels stick over where the other turret is, so we're going to have to put the other one on first. I don't know if that was specifically for there or not. Let's have a look at this. This one's going to go in there. Yes. Oh yeah, there we go. It's a tight fit. What I will do is I'll, before I paint the tops of these, I'll sand them a little bit. So they sit in there a bit easier. And this one. Yeah, and that goes straight on there. Now, I am noticing that this barrel is hitting, is coming in contact with the gun on the top of this front uh, turret. So, unfortunately, with the blast bags, you don't get the option to angle them up. They only sit straight. So... Yeah, that's an unusual thing, isn't it? 
in real life that would be a bit of a problem <laughs> but the other alternative is I could have these turned around and have them working out like that which probably give a bit more character so I'll probably have them turned but uh, yeah again I have to paint on them now we'll do the other smaller ones that go on here and here let me just check the instructions, make sure I got them the right way around. Back in a second. Okay, we're back. So these were labelled um, 61 and 62. So 61 is the one with the platform on the back that we built because it goes onto here because there's that ladder that goes up into nowhere, which actually goes up to this platform here. So this one will sit there and there we go he's on I think that's right I have to double check that but I think that is correct I'm just wondering because there are a couple of little stairs on the on the ends here that I haven't folded down yet um, because they're so delicate, I only wanted to do it one time. And I thought they would come up from somewhere, but they don't seem long enough. I mean, that doesn't go down any further. That's the way it goes on. They don't seem long enough to reach down the platform where they would climb up from. Anyway, we'll check on that too. That's another thing we'll just check on the details with. And our other one is this one. All right. And of course, we've got these guns that can be adjusted up and down. So if it does come in conflict with anything, it's okay. And that will sit a little bit tighter, but firm in there. Not conflicting with anything when the guns are down to when they're up. And it sits there really nice. So there we go. Guns are on. That really nice. I'll, I'll I'll grab hold of the camera and I'll just pan it along and we'll do a bit of a, a fly over the deck and have a look. Uh, please ignore the mess on the table. <laughs> um, I guess a, a a messy work table workbench is a productive one, isn't it? Okay. So let me just uh, get the camera and we'll we'll bring it across and have a close look. Grab the camera carefully. All right. We'll just do a fly across and have a look. So there's those turrets on the stern. Good. And swing along. You've got these fellows. Looking nice. And there we go. There we go. So what I'll do now is I'll um, just check those, make those little adjustments, just check the fit correctly, uh, touch up the top of those turrets. Uh, not sure how I'm going to do that yet, but not much sticks out. So there's not like a, I should not have a problem if I just brush paint that. Be the best way. You can imagine trying to mask up everything. Um, but yeah, there we go. It looks odd without the superstructure there in the middle, that big gape and hole in the deck, but that is the crowning piece, isn't it? When that goes on, it will be fantastic. All right, get back out and have a look. Yeah, there it is. The big, the majestic Yamato battleship coming together nicely. All right, so let me get sorted out and organized back on the bench and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Um, now, just before everyone jumps on me because I showed you something I'd made a mistake, I did find out the issue. The reason why uh, those turrets were not fitting and hitting the um, anti-aircraft guns on the other top of the other turret is because I had them in the wrong position. 
So I'll put a couple of photos up there. You'll see how I repositioned them. So the ones with the guns on the top of the turrets, one of those goes to the stern. The other one comes forward. And the one that doesn't have any anything on top with the scaffolding um, is actually the very forward turret. And that solves the problem. Uh, no problem at all. Although, and I'll, I'll try and show you this here now, if I can just slide this up a bit. It's going to be tricky. I wasn't planning on it. There we go. All right. We still have the problem of this coming in contact with the railings on there. So everything's sitting down as it should, but the, these, um, these are going to touch these railings. And I know that was a problem. And it's, I think, to do with the slope of the deck, how it, how it comes down at an angle at the back here, at the just on the side here. So there's nothing I can do about that. Um, if I had put the, tar the guns on that you could adjust up, then no problem, I could avoid them. But I can't do it while it's here. It's going to touch. But it's okay because I plan on having these not sitting straight. They're going to sit to the side like that and uh, that'll be okay all right um the other one with the ladder up the top and the other one that goes down side that's the only way it can go there's no other way so there's just a ladder that if you climb down that you're going to have a bit of a fall <laughs> it doesn't seem to reach all the way to the platform but otherwise yeah that's the way they come up as i took in those photos all right so now moving this back a bit oh somehow get this straight again there we go we're looking on the front here and turning the page to instructions step 107 so 107 we actually already did way way back um, before fitting the deck this railing here was installed all right that's the photo etch e18 but the photo etch E21 we didn't put on because it extended across where the wooden deck is. And I didn't want it to get knocked or anything. Same with all the other railing from there down. So what we'll do is step 107 is we need to prepare the railing to go on here. And also over on step 108 is the rest of the railing, which will run all the way down to where all the um, anti-aircraft guns are on the edge of the deck there's railings to go in between them um, but because the wood deck's down of course now we can put we can put all that on now the, the thing with the railings is because they're not painted yet we're gonna have to paint them before I put them on so there they are well there's some of them are on here so what I'll do is because the railings are the only things left on the sprues that have railings, I will paint them on there. I'll give them a nice undercoat. Um, and then uh, we'll hit them with the gray. I'll put a good couple of thick layers on there so I don't want them to scratch. And then uh, we'll be carefully <coughs> um, position and place all the railings on. Uh, I've done that, done it this way before. Uh, there may be areas where we'll need to touch up a little bit as we go. Uh, where you can't help it, where you've got to handle them. Uh, but to help me with that, I've got a brand new set of uh, icky sticky um, tweezers that should make that job easier, especially when we've got some nice flat ones like this. Okay. All right. So what I'll do now is I'll put the ship for the moment back up on the shelf and uh, get these sheets of etch photo etch out and get these painted up get some paint on all of these and then we can place the place all the railings okay so i'll get these painted and i'll be right back but first i'll just mention that also as far as step 109 um there's also more railings that goes further down the stern of the deck and all the way around so there's be quite a bit of railings that need to go on uh, but we're not quite finished yet because we also, we, we've got quite a bit more to do. I mean, there's still parts to be put together. There's still um, 
uh, locations for more anti-aircraft guns to go right on the back on the stern of the ship. And then, of course, we've got the launches for the aircraft. Um, the catapults, have, we haven't even started those yet. And uh, that goes on to the cranes as well. Um, and there's still quite a bit of photo etch and bits and pieces to go on all of those. Heaps, heaps. Looking forward to it. All right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so we've got uh, the all the sprues that have all the railings on them are just the E sprue. So we've got two of E sprues and two G sprues. There's nothing on the left on here but the railings, so we don't have to worry about masking anything. We can just go ahead and just spray the railings on here as they are and let them dry. So I'm going to do that now. Um, by the time I do the um, the primer coat and then all the extra layers I want to put on it, that'll take me the the whole day to make sure they're all dried properly. Um, so in the meantime, let me check the instructions and see what else we can make a move on. Hang on a second. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to start on while that while that's all being done is step 113. So jumping ahead to step 113 is actually the trolleys that the float planes will go on. And I think we only have one of those to make, it looks like. Yeah, there's just one of them. And we've got the platform that goes right on the stern of the ship where there's two more, the last two in the aircraft guns go. So we can also get those done. And eventually, in the next step, we'll be fitting those. All right. So, uh, yeah, let me get some plastic out. I'm back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So I've undercoated all that photo etch railing and it's all drying. It won't take that long and then I'll do the other layers of the IGN grey. At the moment I'm on sprue G and we're looking at getting this uh, trolley off for the aircraft to sit on. Um, G66 is this piece here. Uh, sorry about that. I'm just going to take that off quickly like that. We'll put that easier to see it's small there we go um, it's unusual that they didn't supply this in photo etch um, every model I can ever think of always had these uh, trolleys as photo etch it's a shame but anyway um, and now we'll get this one off here is the base for it it's there and then there's some really, really tiny pieces um, on the L sprue. There is some photo etch that actually goes over the top of that. So I guess they've partially got a bit of photo etch on it. So on the L sprue, we've got L12. And L12, you will never see these because I can hardly see them, are here. There's 12 and 13, but we need 12. So there's four of these sprues and we need four of those. They're absolutely minute. And they actually go in each corner of this piece here. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> All right. Sometimes you wonder why certain parts just aren't already molded on. You know, I mean, they can do it. You know, I mean, look at all the bits and pieces that are on turrets here. You know, anyway, just increases the part count and the, and the ability of your eyesight to see. <laughs> All right, so I'll get these pieces off the four sprues. We'll put them all here and we'll get this stuff put together back in a sec. Oh, the photo etch as well uh, is on uh, B sprue, B55. Oh, here we go. Right here. So B55. There it is there. It's just going to be this piece here. See that? Yeah. So I'll take that off and we'll get all the bits there. Be back in a sec. Hey, welcome back again. So, got all these parts off and they're all trimmed up, ready to go. I took this piece off as well because it's the only other part for that step 113. Um, there's a little bit of photo which I still have to get that goes under here, which is, I don't know why they've only got one piece of photo edge. Um, G22, let me just have a quick look. Unless that's on the one that I've painted, I don't think it is though. If we can find it. 
still quite a bit of photo etch sprues here. Probably stuff here that I won't need. Um, where is G? Yeah, I think it might have been on one of the ones I've got painted with the railings. Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll get that shortly. Um, if you can see them, right down here, if I can point. They, those little pieces I told you about, they're the actual wheels that sit under the trolley that go on the rails. Look how tiny they are. They've got to be fitted on these little location points on there. Not sure which side yet, but yeah, that'll be fun. Anyway, I'll, I'll put this together and uh, we'll see what it looks like. I'll be back shortly. Hey, welcome back again. So I've done these. There they are there. There's our tiny little wheels on the bottom. It's all right. There's a little bit of photo etch on there. Uh, shame they don't have the whole supports under there in photo etch, but it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to paint these. These will just be, well, this will just be um, the IGN grey. Um, this will be IGN grey as well, although the inside will be the darker uh, German grey like I have on the um, inside of the other um, turret control or gun platforms all right and this goes way right back on the very stern of the ship so i'll go and paint these up now um, the railings that we're getting to i've given a second coat of um, the ign gray on so I'll, that was about an hour ago and now i'll when i go paint these i'll give them another coat a third coat and uh and that'll be fine the next step in the instructions is 114 and it's actually putting these that I made, that's all it is, is putting those on the ship. Uh, there's also a ladder that goes in between here uh, that I'll have to attach now as well. I didn't realise they've got it showing there. Uh, I'll put 114 step up on this corner here. You can see where it's going to go and that little ladder so it'd probably be best to place that on there now, paint it all grey in one piece. Uh, that would be easier. The other things like those, um, the ship's boats um, down on the bottom there, we've already done all that way back in the beginning, so we don't have to worry about those. And there's our trolley up there on the rail. The exact position of that, we'll figure that out um, later on in the stages. All right, I should get this done and maybe be back with doing the railings uh, or if i've got a bit more time i'll continue on to the next uh, step 115 and that's putting the crane together a bit of work there um, yeah no problem all right um, back shortly okay welcome back again so uh, these parts here that I did, they're all put together and beautiful black primer is on them. Only take a few minutes to dry and I'll go put the IGN grey across them. So they'll be fine. In the meantime, here's all our railings on the sprues here. So they've all been painted up. I've not long ago put the another coat, the third coat of IGN grey on there. So there's plenty of paint on them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Take these all off very, very carefully, of course, and then um, I'll fit them all on the ship, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to video it because I'm going to get the ship down here and it's a lot of fiddling, but I will explain how I'm going to do it. Uh, there's a couple of tricks involved and things that make it a little bit easier. And of course, if I come across any issues that need explanation, I will talk about that after it's done, and then I'll put some photographs up of all the railings around the ship and uh and how good it looks so one of the things i'm going to do is if you've got a pair of flat tweezers like these which these just came in my new short plug here <laughs> icky sticky um set there um what i'll do is i'll put some um, tape i'll mask up mask tape around the ends of those so that they're soft and they're not going to scratch the railings as i'm placing them and holding them all right what i'll what i'll also do is because most of these are all long ones and they don't really need to be bent or anything like that um, i'll be most likely using 
put my MIG ammo ultra glue. Um, it's here. Like I've had that in there for months, and I just keep adding a bit more water to it as it firms up. But just dilute this to about you know milk consistency, pretty much, and uh, and I'll be applying that all along the edge where I'm going to sit the railing. It's a slow drying one. Um, yeah, but when it does dry, it dries soft in a way that the railings are still flexible. You can still move them a little bit side to side. They're not going to come off. Whereas if you use CA glue, any type of CA glue for your railings, it dries really brittle. And through handling the ship and moving it around and things like that, you, you'll find if you touch it, they'll, they'll just come off. They'll just come loose because the, the glue is brittle, whereas this stays soft. I found that on ships I've built a year ago or two, which is as long as I've been building them, um, where some of the railings when I was using just CA glue have just come loose because of the brittleness. So there's my tips for doing the railings. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get onto this now, clear my desk up here, make some room, bring it back down and start placing all these railings on. And then we'll have a look at how it all looks when it's done. All right, I'll be back shortly in your time. It might take me a little bit longer here. Back soon. Okay, welcome back. A bit of an update. There's uh, that I just painted for the mounts for the rear anti-aircraft guns. Uh, it's all done. We've got the little ladder on the back there. Uh, there was also, I didn't know if I mentioned it, it was a piece of railing um, in there as well to be added. So that, that's all done. Um the little cart for the uh, trolley for the aircraft there is done. It's all painted up. So I'll put those aside. Um, the railings, I've done the first section of railings. I'll put photos up there. There you can see a few I took. So those were the railings in step uh, 108. Okay, so we're done with step 108 now. Of course, we've got to do both sides, so I'll do the other side now. Um, and um, then we'll be able to go over the page and work from the stern of the ship back and do all the railings along there as well. Okay, so I'll be back with a bit more progress. Hey, welcome back, everybody. So the railings are all done. They're all on. Um, I've... I've I've lost a bit of footage, unfortunately. I um, forgot to hit record. But anyway, I will show photographs up in the corner there of a few sections of the ship where we've got the railings on. Um, they all went on fine, no problem at all. Um, yeah, not an issue. As for the back, as for this, uh, this one's ready to go on. Uh, the little ladder is on there. There's a railing in there. And I've painted it up. Uh, done the little darker on the inside. And that is going to sit just there like that. But I can't put that on yet because we've got some flag poles. I know there's another name for them. They've got to go on the back, on the stern, and one up on the front as well. Let me know in the comments what they are. I know they could, I could have Googled them, but <laughs> anyway. Um, the trolley is there, ready to be glued on. I'm just not sure of the position where I'm going to put that on the rail yet because um, that's where we're going to sit one of the float planes. Um, so, yeah, I need to get those off. Well, I've done, got them off the sprue, actually. Here they are here. All right. So a flagstaff or something? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, one for the both ends of the ship. <laughs> uh, I've got to paint these up now, and then uh, I'll put them on. I, I wasn't going to because they, they do stick up quite a fair way and they look like they're gonna they could break but we're at that point now where there's not much to be done other than placing a couple of things here we've still got the cranes and the catapults to do a pretty good chance I won't be knocking these in fact I might even put the flags on them as well um, before I put them on there just to make them stand out a bit more and they don't get knocked <laughs> all right so I'll paint them up and um, the flags will be on uh, the decal sheet somewhere, or there was a separate little sheet for the flags, and I'll show you the special way I do those. All right, 
I shall return. Hey, welcome back. So I'm just placing these on the back here. Um, I checked and noticed there are actually no flags on these, so I don't have to worry about doing that. It's going to stand up and go on there like that. Pretty much just like that, I'll glue that in place. Yeah, and I'll just do a bit of a touch up on that. Okay, um, and then we can put these platforms on, put the guns on top, and uh, that section's all done. Back in a sec. Okay, so there's the pole in position, and I've just put the anti-aircraft guns on the platforms here. Just going to let that glue settle for a bit, but that will then sit there perfectly. We'll get a photo. I know it's hard to see from the top down, but I'll get a side, a proper photo of that, and we'll, I'll show you what that looks like and pop it up in the corner. Okay, back soon after I. Now go down to the bow of the ship and put, put our um, pole on the front of there. Okay, back shortly. All right, back with the front one on. A bit hard to see. I'll put a picture up. You can see that. Um, now I was going to put the chrysanthemum on the front, but I thought I think that will be the very, very last thing I'll put on. But I did paint it. It is here on the sprue and I'll put it aside in a little container and that will be the final crowning glory, I think. It's the last thing I put on the ship when it's done. Okay, all right. Now, what am I up to now? Let me have a quick look. Um, okay, so I'm going to get all this ship back up on the cabinet out of the way. And um, what we'll do is, um, We'll have a quick look at the instructions up there for step 115, which is where we're up to now. And all that is going to be for the crane. So there's bits of photo etch and all sorts of pieces in amongst all that. But I'm going to start that in the next video. We'll make this one a little bit shorter than normal, but um, we'll make a start on the crane and the catapult and, and have all those hopefully all done in the next video. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, your comments are welcome below. Give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time in what will be part 22 of our Yamato build. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now. Cheers.